LPD detectives were called out to this home behind me just after midnight Friday, where they say 23 year old Trevondrick Ward was fatally shot. You know, he ain't the type of person that's just gonna sit there and fight with nobody. But you know what? God gonna see to whoever did that, they gonna get it. Brittany Taylor had no idea her cousin passed away until we showed up Saturday afternoon. That was like a brother to me. That's what type of relationship that was, like a brother. We used to all stay together when we was younger. Me and Charlie used to go to the same school across the street. We, we I mean, they, they good people. That's why I'm not understanding, you know. So far, LPD still not releasing any details on the deadly shooting. I was at home asleep and my girlfriend was passing by. She seen some bright lights. That's how it all started for Marcus Mayo, a friend of Ward's who, when he heard the news, ran from his home across the street. From, from what I heard, my sister's truck was right here. He was in the driver's seat with the door open. Somebody snuck up behind him, shot him in the ribs. He got out to try to look for help. Neighbors in the area say they heard multiple gunshots that almost sounded like fireworks. A good kid, He's still young, He's still had plenty of years to go by. But I, the only people I feel sorry for is my nephews because they ain't gonna have a father around. We're told that Ward leaves behind two children with Mayo's sister. Of course, LPD is still seeking any information regarding Ward's death. With photojournalist Justin Calderon, Bailey Miller, Fox 34, News at 9.